Hi guys. I uh, just wanted to check in, say hello. Um, hope you're all doing well. I know we're getting used to this whole new scenario with this COVID-19. But uh, yesterday Marco gave me a great idea, so I wanted to make a short video for you guys um, about how to clean and maintain your instrument while we're not in school. So uh, I tried to think of all the things that you could do uh, with things that you have around home. Okay, so um, these are the things that I gathered and if you can find them around home, I'll show you how to, how to clean your instrument using them. So the first thing is just a paintbrush, regular plain paintbrush. Um, any kind of small brush that you could find. This one is the kind that's for like cleaning your brackets. I have these ones that are more bassoon cleaning. Maybe they, maybe you found them in your case when you first got your instrument. If not, just a plain Q-tip will work fine. Um, the next thing is a mini screwdriver. I got this one in a um, eyeglass cleaning kit. So look for a little tiny screwdriver you might have. Um, this is a silver polishing cloth. Ask your mom. These usually uh, come with, if she has any kind of silver jewelry, she might have one of these in her jewelry box. So ask her for one of those. Um, a little water spray bottle. I borrowed this from my brass player um, roommate. <laughs> and uh, here's some wood cleaning product. All right, so just with these things that you have around the house, I'm gonna show you just a couple simple ways that you can clean and maintain your instrument. All right, so the very first one is with your paintbrush. We're just gonna use our paintbrush and go into these small gaps of the bassoon to clean out any dust, any particles that have gathered there over time. So I'm just showing you on this one joint, but use it on your whole, your whole instrument. So you can get in between, in between the keys, in between these long rods underneath, Try not to force anything, try not to, um, try to be gentle. We don't want to put anything out of place, but we want to clean out all of that dust that's underneath there, okay? So just take your time, you can go around each, each key, all right? So if you have this size brush, a bigger one, a smaller one, I think anyone should work. Just make sure um, it's dry and make sure your instrument's dry, okay? We don't want to do this after practicing because the inside of the instrument is wet and we don't want those particles wet inside the instrument, okay? So that's the first thing with our paintbrush. Um, the next thing would be to clean out our tone holes. Um, there is a way to take off the keys and clean these smaller holes, but I don't want you guys to do that at home because if something happens, um, there's no one there to fix it. So let's just clean the tone holes. If you have something like this in your case, that works. If not, again, just use a Q-tip and just put it right in. <laughs> Put it right in that hole. Usually I like to do this type of cleaning once every six months or so. Um, just to make sure my instrument's looking as good. Um, and just, just like anything, it needs to be cleaned, right? Every once in a while. So um, once you've cleaned all the tone holes, so we have these three and then the two on the boot joint. Um, make sure to use your swab and clean out the inside. Those little particles um, from the tone holes can get pushed inside and we want to make sure we um, clean those out. Okay. Um, the next step, it's not really cleaning but it's more a maintenance step. I use my little tiny screwdriver and I go over the whole instrument and I make sure all my screws are tightened, all right? With normal use, these screws can loosen over time. Even mine, that one was just a little bit loose. Um, 
So it's a good idea every so often to go and tighten each, each screw of the instrument. So we know the bassoon has a lot of moving parts, a lot of um, different screws, so just take your time and tighten each, each little screw around the instrument, okay? And like I said, there are specific um, instrument screwdrivers, but I just found this one in an eyeglass repair case. So maybe if you don't have a little small screwdriver specifically for bassoon, don't worry, look around for something like this, okay? Um, the next thing I do, and this is something you can just do while you're watching TV, watching Netflix, um, get your silver polishing cloth. Like I said, ask your mom. Um, this is used normally for pol polishing silver jewelry. So this you just simply rub on all of your silver parts of your instrument. And the tarnish comes off kind of like that. All right, so this will get any part that's silver or metal on your instrument, it'll get it nice and shiny. And uh, you can even take like a before and after picture um, to see how shiny you got it. I usually like to do that. Uh, okay, ah, the next thing. Be kind of careful with this step because we don't want to, um, well, let me tell you what it is first. So I get a small, um, Part of a t-shirt this is just an old t-shirt um, and I want to clean the wood parts of my bassoon so this is just plain water <laughs> I'm not used to making these videos this is plain water just spray your cloth first then you can clean the wood parts of your instrument so spray your cloth first then clean the instrument, okay? We don't want any water on the pads. We don't want any water inside the instrument, okay? So, um, and that'll get that nice and clean. The next thing, and I'm not sure um, if bassoonists do this around the world, but I've been doing it for years, um, and that's shining my instrument with a little bit of this wood cleaner. So again, spray first your um, t-shirt and the same thing applies with the water you can clean the wood try not to touch any of the keys or the pads or get anything inside the instrument okay um, and you can do that on the other joints of the instrument as well just the same idea applies right um, I usually try to really clean around where our fingers go on the instrument. They tend to gather a lot of um, dirt and dust. So I'm just using this old t-shirt and I'm just rubbing all around where our fingers go, right? Those tone holes. Okay. Another thing that I um, usually like to do is clean out my case. My bassoon is now... Um, all dust and um, particle free. So what I do is I empty out my whole case. Let me see if I can move this. I empty out my case and I use something like this little vacuum to clean uh, the inside of the case. Okay, so that's, uh, that's something that's a cleaning process I usually do every six months, uh, maximum every year, um, to make sure my instrument's looking good um, and that it's all clean. So, um, anyways, I know we're not having class right now because of this COVID-19. I know it can be scary. Uh, just know that I'm here for you guys if you need anything. Please call me, please uh, WhatsApp me. Um, I'm happy to help, I'm happy to answer questions. I'm also still happy to give on, um, online or video classes, okay? So this Friday I'm gonna give online classes again. Um, just be in touch with me as far as what time you want your class. Um, if Fridays don't work for you for whatever reason, let's just be in touch, okay? So everybody stay safe. If you have any questions about what I showed you just now, 
um, let me know. Happy to clarify or help out in any way I can, all right? Everybody stay safe and let's be in touch, okay? Take care.